Ariane 6 is a launch vehicle developed and manufactured by Ariane Group under the authority of the European Space Agency (ESA), with a first test flight scheduled for 2020. When development is completed, it will become the newest member in the Ariane launch vehicle family. The final design was selected in December 2014, favoring a liquid-fueled core with large solid rocket boosters over the initial solid-fuel rocket design. The motivation for Ariane 6 is to replace Ariane 5 at half the cost, and allow double the number of launches each year. Description Two variants of Ariane 6 are being developed Ariane 64, with four P120 boosters, has a liftoff weight of around 860 tons pounds and is intended for commercial dual satellite launches of up to 11,500 kg pounds into GTO and 21,500 kg 47, pounds into Leo. Ariane 62, with two P120 solid boosters, will weigh around 530 tons pounds at liftoff and is intended mainly for government and scientific missions. It can launch up to 5,000 kg pounds into GTO and 10,350 kg pounds into LEO. Ariane 6 comprises three major structural and propellant carrying components. Lower liquid propulsion module The first stage of Ariane 6 is called the Lower Liquid Propulsion Module LLPM. It is powered by a single Vulcan 2.1 engine, burning liquid hydrogen LH2 with liquid oxygen LOX. Vulcan 2.1 is an updated version of the Vulcan 2 engine from Ariane 5. The LLPM is 5.4 meters (18 feet) in diameter and contains approximately 140 tons of propellant. Topic: <laughs> Equipped solid rockets. Additional thrust for the first stage will be provided by either two or four P120 solid rocket boosters, known within Ariane 6 nomenclature as Equipped Solid Rockets ESR. Each booster contains approximately 142 tons of propellant and delivers up to 4,500 kN of thrust. Additionally, the P120 booster is intended to be used as the first stage of the upgraded Vega C and Vega E launches. The first full-scale test of the ESR occurred at Kourou on the 16th of July 2018, and the test appeared completed successfully with the thrust reaching 4,615 kN lbf in vacuum. Topic: <inaudible> Upper liquid propulsion module. The upper stage of Ariane 6 is called the upper liquid propulsion module (ULPM). It features the same 5.4 meters (18 feet) diameter as the LLPM and also burns liquid hydrogen with oxygen. 
It is powered by the Vinci engine delivering 180 kN lbf of thrust and enabling multiple restarts. The ULPM will carry about 31 tons of propellant. History Topic: Concept and early development, 2010 to 2015. Following detailed definition studies in 2012, the European Space Agency (ESA) announced the selection of the PPH configuration for Ariane 6 in July 2013. This design would be composed of three P145 solid rocket motors as a first stage, a single P145 motor as a second stage, and a third stage powered by the Vinci cryogenic engine burning LH2 and LOX. It would be capable of launching up to 6,500 kg 14,300 pounds to GTO, with a first flight projected to be as early as 2021-22. Development was projected to cost €4 billion Euros as of May 2013. A 2014 study concluded that development cost could be reduced to about €3 billion Euros by limiting contractors to five countries, while Ariane 5 typically launches one large and one medium satellite at a time. The PPH proposal for Ariane 6 was intended for single payloads, with an early 2014 price estimate of approximately $95 million per per launch. The SpaceX Falcon 9 and the Chinese Long March 3B both launch smaller payloads but at lower prices, approximately $57 million and $72 million respectively as of early 2014, making the Falcon 9 launch of a mid-size satellite competitive with the cost of the lower slot of a dual payload Ariane 5. For lightweight all-electric satellites, Arianespace intended to use the restartable Vinci engine to deliver the satellites closer to their operational orbit than Falcon 9 could, thus reducing the time required to transfer to geostationary orbit by several months. Ariane 6.1 and Ariane 6.2 proposals In June 2014 Airbus and Safran surprised ESA by announcing a counter-proposal for the Ariane 6 project, a 50-50 joint venture to develop the rocket, which would also involve buying out the French government's CNES interest in Ariane space. This proposed launch system would come in two variants, Ariane 6.1 and Ariane 6.2. While both would use a cryogenic main stage powered by a Vulcan 2 engine and two P145 solid boosters, Ariane 6.1 would feature a cryogenic upper stage powered by the Vinci engine and boost up to 8,500 kg 18,700 pounds to GTO, while Ariane 6.2 would use a lower cost hypergolic upper a stage powered by the Eastus engine. Ariane 6.1 would have the ability to launch two electrically powered satellites at once, while Ariane 6.2 would be focused on launching government payloads. 
French newspaper La Tribune questioned whether Airbus space systems could deliver on the promised costs for their Ariane 6 proposal, and whether Airbus and Safran Group could be trusted when they were found to be responsible for a failure of Ariane 5 Flight 517 in 2002 and a more recent 2013 failure of the M51 ballistic missile. The companies were also criticized for being unwilling to incur development risks, and asking for higher initial funding than originally planned €2.6 billion Euros instead of €2.3 billion. Euros. Estimated launch prices of €85 million Euros for Ariane 6.1 and €69 million Euros for Ariane 6.2 did not compare favorably to SpaceX offerings. During the meeting of EU ministers in Geneva on 7 June 2014, these prices were deemed too high and no agreement with manufacturers was reached. Topic: Ariane 62 and Ariane 64 proposals. Following criticism of the Ariane 6 PPH design, France unveiled a revised Ariane 6 proposal in September 2014. This launcher would use a cryogenic main stage powered by the Vulcan 2 and upper stage powered by the Vinci, but vary the number of solid boosters. With two P120 boosters, Ariane 6 would launch up to 5,000 kg 11,000 pounds to GTO at a cost of 75 million euros. With four boosters, Ariane 6 would be able to launch two satellites totaling 11,000 kg pounds to GTO at a cost of €90 million. Euros. This proposal, unlike Ariane 6 PPH, offered a scalable launcher while retaining Ariane 5's dual launch capability. The proposal also included simplification of the industrial and institutional organization along with a better and cheaper version of the Vulcan 2 engine for the main stage. Although Ariane 6 was projected to have lower estimated recurring production costs, it was projected to have a higher overall development cost owing to the need for a new, Ariane 6 dedicated, launch pad. The Italian, French, and German space ministers met on 23 September 2014 in order to plan strategy and assess the possibility for agreement on funding for the Ariane 5 successor. And in December 2014, ESA selected the Ariane 62 and Ariane 64 designs for development and funding. Topic: Test vehicle development, 2016 to 2019. In November 2015, an updated design of Ariane 64 and 62 was presented, with new nose cones on the boosters. Main stage diameter increased to 5.4 meters (18 feet) and the height decreased to 60 meters (200 feet). The basic design was finalized in January 2016, advancing the development into detailed design and production phases, with the first major contracts already signed. Unlike previous Ariane rockets which are assembled and fueled vertically before being transported to the launch pad, the Ariane 6 main stages will be assembled horizontally at the new integration hall in Les Muro and then transported to French Guiana, where they will be erected and integrated with boosters and payload. 
The horizontal assembly process was inspired by the Russian tradition for Soyuz and proton launches which was more recently applied to the American Delta IV and Falcon 9 boosters with a stated goal of halving production costs. The industrial production process was completely overhauled, allowing synchronized workflow between several European production sites moving at a monthly cadence, which would enable 12 launches per year, doubling Ariane 5's yearly capacity. To further lower the price, Ariane 6 engines will use 3D printed components. Ariane 6 will be the first large rocket to use a laser ignition system developed by the Austria's Corinthian Research Centre that was previously deployed in automotive and turbine engines. A solid-state laser offers an advantage over electrical ignition systems in that it is more flexible with regards to the location of the plasma within the combustion chamber, offers a much higher pulse power and can tolerate a wider range of fuel-air mixture ratios, reorganization of the industry behind a new launch vehicle, leading to a creation of Airbus Safran launches, also started a review by the French government, into tax matters, and the European Commission over a possible conflict of interest if Airbus Defence and Space, a satellite manufacturer were to purchase launches from ASL. Other development options CNES began studies in 2010 on an alternative, reusable first stage for Ariane 6, using a mix of liquid oxygen and liquid methane rather than hydrogen that is used in the 2016 Ariane 6 first stage design. The methane-powered core could use one or more engines, matching capabilities of Ariane 64 with only two boosters instead of four. Template, a SOM, the economic feasibility of reusing an entire stage remained in question. Concurrent with the liquid fly-back booster research in the late 1990s and early 2000s CNES along with Russia concluded studies indicating that reusing the first stage was economically unviable as manufacturing 10 rockets a year was cheaper and more feasible than recovery, refurbishment and loss of performance caused by reusability. It was suggested that with Arian Space launch schedule of 12 flights per year that an engine that could be reused a dozen times would produce a demand for only one engine per year making supporting an ongoing engine manufacturing supply chain unviable. In June 2015, Airbus Defence and Space announced that development of Adelin, a partially reusable first stage, would become operational between 2025 and 2030, and that it would be developed as a subsequent first stage for Ariane 6. Rather than developing a way to reuse an entire first stage like SpaceX, Airbus proposed a system where only high-value parts would be safely returned using a winged module at the bottom of the rocket stack. In August 2016, Airbus Safran launches gave some more details about future development plans building on the Ariane 6 design. CEO Alan Charmo revealed that Airbus Safran were now working along two main lines, first, continuing work at the company's own expense on the recoverable Adelin engine and avionics module, and second, beginning development of a next-generation engine to be called Prometheus. This engine would have about the same thrust as the Vulcan 2 currently powering Ariane 5, but would burn methane instead of liquid hydrogen. 
Charmo was non-committal about whether Prometheus still only in the first few months of development could be used as an expendable replacement for the Vulcan 2 in Ariane 6, or whether it was tied to the re-usable Adelin design, saying only that, "...we are cautious, and we prefer to speak when are sure of what we announce." But certainly this engine could very well fit with the first stage of Ariane 6 one day." A decision on whether to proceed with Prometheus in an expendable or reusable role could be taken between 2025–30. In 2017 the Prometheus engine project was revealed to have the aim of reducing the engine unit cost from the €10 million Euros of the Vulcan 2 to €1 million Euros and allowing the engine to be reused up to five times. The engine development is said to being part of a broader effort, codename Ariane Next, to reduce Ariane launch costs by a factor of two beyond improvements brought by Ariane 6. The Ariane Next initiative includes a reusable sounding rocket, Callisto, to test the performance of various fuels in new engine designs. Topic: Moving toward production, 2019 plus. In January 2019, Arian Space CEO Stephen Israel, during the interview, said that the company requires four more institutional launches for the Ariane 6 to sign manufacturing contract. Launch contracts are needed for the transitional period of the 2020-2023 when Ariane 5 will be phased out and gradually replaced by the Ariane 6. Company required European institutions to become an anchor customer for the launcher. In response, ESA representative said that agency is working on shifting 2022 launch of the Jupiter icy moons explorer from Ariane 5 to Ariane 6, further indicating that there are other institutional customers in Europe that must put their weight behind the project, such as UMETSAT or European Commission. As of January 2019, Space has sold three flights of the Ariane 6 launch vehicle. One month later, they added a satellite Internet Constellation launch contract with OneWeb to utilize the maiden launch of Ariane 6 to help populate the large 600 satellite constellation. Topic Funding Ariane 6 is being developed in a public-private partnership with the majority of the funding coming from various ESA government sources—2.815 billion euros—while 400 million euros is reported to be industry's share. The ESA Ruling Council approved the project moving forward on 3 November 2016, and the next and final step in funds being released is approval by the ESA Industrial Policy Council, expected 8 November. The funds release was approved. Launch contracts and scheduled flights The first Ariane 6 launch contract was signed on 25 June 2015, an option for three launches for the OneWeb satellite constellation. Future Galileo launches are booked on Ariane 6 starting in 2020. 
On the 11th of September 2018, Arian Space announced a firm order by UTELSAT for five commercial communication satellites over several years, and the French CNES converted one of their three contracted launchers for spy satellites from a Soyuz to an Ariane 6.